Okay, so you have decided to buy yourself a budgie. Well, first thing you need is a home to put that budgie into, and that means buying a cage. Uh, the first cage I'm going to show you is a cage that's often sold as a parakeet starter cage. Now, like so many, I made the mistake of buying this cage thinking I was getting a great deal. These starter kit cages are often sold with perches and food dishes, toys. Mine even came with food. I thought it was a great deal until I did a little bit more research and realized that starter cages are way too small. Even if you're only going to have one budgie, they are too small. But I didn't get rid of it. I still have it and it is still a useful cage to have on hand. So let's have a look at my starter cage. Alright, so this is my parakeet starter cage. Like I said, I thought I was getting a great deal. It's a nice little cage. It came with the two perches that you see in it, plus it came with some toys, it came with the food dishes, it came with a water silo, and it even came with a bag of food. I thought I was getting a great deal. But this cage is way too small for even one budgie. For your budgie to be healthy and happy in the long run, you want a cage that will allow your budgie to get the exercise it needs. Otherwise, you can end up with a very sick, overweight budgie, which is a lot more expensive in vet bills than it, buying a larger cage will ever be. Okay, so if a starter cage that's sold for budgies and parakeets is too small, what kind of cage are you supposed to buy? Well, ideally you want to look for a cage that's labeled flight cage. These are cages that are actually meant for birds to fly in, which is really important for your budgie to get proper exercise. Even if your budgie has clipped wings, it still needs to have the room to be able to flutter from perch to perch, to actually build up muscle mass and to burn off fat. Otherwise, you could end up with a very sick budgie. So, you need a big cage. Now, here's some examples of cages that are available that are listed as flight cages. One thing to keep in mind is that when you're buying any cage for a budgie, you need to check the width of the bars. You should never buy a cage where the bar width is greater than half an inch. Anything wider than half an inch and your budgie could actually squeeze its body through the bars and either escape or potentially get itself stuck between those bars and injure itself. So any cage you're thinking about buying, whether it's a brand new cage or a used cage, make sure you measure the width between the bars and make sure it's no more than a half inch. Okay, so like me, you've made the mistake of buying a starter cage. What are you going to do with it? Do you just chuck it out? It Was it a complete waste of money? Well, not really actually. This cage does have its place. This makes a great hospital cage or a transport cage. So when one of your budgies is sick, this is a great cage to move that budgie into. If you have multiple budgies in a larger cage, isolating the one that's sick so that the others don't have the risk of getting sick from it. So this makes a great transport cage. For my own situation, my budgies live in a flight cage, which is a much larger cage. For me to fit that cage in my car, I'd have to turn it sideways and lie it on its side, which would not make for happy budgies. So if I need to take my budgie somewhere, I would put them into this cage here, which is why I've kept it. This would be my transport cage. That way they can still have their perches, I'd add some toys in here. They'd have a comfortable environment while they're traveling in the car with their main cage if, they were, if I was taking them somewhere where they were actually going to be staying. You know, for example, if I was going to be boarding them somewhere while I went away, I could take their main cage in the car, lying up flat on its side, and then once we reached our destination, I could then set up their main cage again, move them out of this transport cage, and back into it. And this makes a great cage for taking your pets to the vet. Move your budgie in here, take it to the vet, when you bring it home, release it back into its main cage. So if you did make the mistake of buying a starter cage like I did, it's not a complete waste of money. It is a handy cage to have on hand. 
So now you've bought your cage, you need to think about perches to put inside that cage. Now most cages you buy will actually come with a few perches. Um, frequently they'll come with this style of perch here, which is a, a simple wooden dowel. Uh, there's nothing wrong with using these perches that come with your cage, you can certainly use them. Uh, another type of perch that will sometimes come with cages are perches like this one here, which is a plastic perch. Again, there's nothing wrong with using this type of perch. But when you are setting up your cage, you want to think in terms of providing your bird with a variety of perches. Um, mostly for health benefits, really. When your bird is on their perch, when they're standing on their perch, there are two particular health problems that can arise. If all of your perches are the same, if they're all the exact same perch, one of the things that can happen is that your bird can actually develop arthritis of its toes um, because its feet are always curved in the same position. This is very painful, of course, for your bird and makes it difficult for them to perch and even to walk. So you definitely want to try to avoid that. Uh, another issue is that when your birds are always standing on the same perch, their weight is always concentrated in the same point on the bottoms of their feet. That's called a, a pressure point. So you think about it, if somebody is pressing on the same spot in your, on your foot or on your hand continually, uh, over time that spot will become very tender, very sore, even raw. Uh, in humans we call those bed sores. Uh, well, for budgies, it's the same problem. If all of their perches are the same, they'll develop these pressure sores on the bottoms of their feet. So, very painful for your budgie. Very, very pain. It's very painful and it interferes with their ability to, to stand, to walk, to perch. Um, and so you definitely want to do whatever you can to help prevent that from happening with your budgie and keep them healthy. So, the easiest way to do that is to provide a variety of perches a variety of materials as well as a variety of diameters or widths for those perches so that your budgie is moving around and is holding its feet and sitting in different, different ways on different perches. So we're going to take a look at a few of the perches that are available out there. Now, I personally love natural material perches. So two of the perches that I like to buy are this one here. This is called a multi-branch manzanita perch. It's a, a natural wood perch. These come in all sorts of different shapes, um, anywhere from two branches. This one has three. Sometimes they're very widely spaced. Sometimes they're closely grouped together, like this one is. Um, it's actually kind of fun to go shopping for these perches at the pet store because every one of them is a little different. So you kind of get to poke through them and find ones that are of interesting shape and that uh, appeal to you. Um, so I actually have two of these right now in my cage and another one that I picked up uh, just a few days ago as a, a sort of a spare extra one that I'll swap in and out from time to time. So that's one of my favorites. Another favorite, and this is a favorite of my budgies, is this perch here. This is a grapewood perch. So this is actually grapevine. Um, I love these perches. My budgies love these perches. Again, as you can see, it's very irregular in its shape. Um, this particular perch has lots of really interesting little nooks and crooks and crannies to it. My budgies love to actually chew on these perches. They love to strip the outer layer of bark right off them. So it's good for them. It it's, um, keeps them happy. It's, a, it's almost, almost like a toy for them. Uh, it's also really good for their beaks to have that. So again, these are great perches because they're a natural product. Each one is a little different, a uh, bit of a different shape to it. So again, it's really fun to shop for. Kind of poke around and see what your store has in stock and find some interesting shaped ones. And uh, again, I've got two of these in my cage right now. And this is just a, a spare one that I, I picked up a while back um, just to be able to swap in and out from time to time. Another perch that um, is a man-made perch, this one, but is a really nice one to have available for your birds is this one here. It's called a rope perch. Um, these are available in different lengths, different diameters and thicknesses. They've actually got these little screw-on uh, 
attachments on both ends that so you can attach it either only on the one end and let it sort of hang down in your cage or you can actually attach it at both ends and make some interesting shapes. It's quite flexible and bendable so you can sort of twist it around and do different things with it. What I like about these is the fact that they are a soft surface. So it gives your, your bird a chance to, to perch on something that isn't actually hard. Most perches are very hard surfaces. So it's kind of nice to, to give them the option if, they're, if their feet are feeling a little sore one day to, uh, to be sitting on something that's a little softer on their feet. And again, they're, just, they're kind of fun just because they are so bendy and twisty and you can do different things with them. So th again, this is a, a perch I would really recommend. Um, now, another per type of perch that is a really great type of perch to have is a textured perch. I have two examples of textured perches here. The first one I'm going to show you is this one here. This is a sand perch. So the perch itself is actually made out of plastic and then it's coated in fine sand. Now, one of the reasons why a perch like this is a really good addition to your cage is that on your, your budgie's feet, of course, they have their nails. And just like humans, their nails keep growing. So we need to find a way for your budgie to be able to keep those nails nice and trimmed. If their nails become too long, uh, it will make it very difficult for your budgie to actually grip a perch. And they can actually hurt themselves if their nails are too long when they are gripping onto a perch, their nail actually will be able to wrap around the perch and poke back up into their foot, which can uh, develop into sores and even lead to infection. So you really want to make sure that your budgie is able to keep those, those toenails nicely trimmed. If for some reason your budgie's toenails do become really overgrown and too long, then you need to look into having those nails clipped. Um, either by clipping them yourself, which is a, a two-person procedure and you know a little tricky to do, especially if your bird's not too comfortable with you handling it, or else you need to take it to a, a pet store that knows about birds or to a veterinarian um, in order to have them trim the nails. So to be able to provide them with a, a sand perch like this one, where they can keep those nails trimmed themselves, is really beneficial both for you but also for your birds. Now, I also really like this tile because if you can see that on camera, it actually goes from quite narrow to thicker back to narrow. So this perch actually builds in different diameters within it, which we already talked about the benefit of having that different thicknesses in your perches. So it's a really nice feature. Now, this is, this is a small one, um, really well designed for budgies. They also come in larger sizes if you have a larger bird. Um, different colors are available, of course. But this is a, a really good option to uh, help your budgie both in terms of giving them a perch that has different diameters to it, but also a perch that has that nice rough texture that they need to keep their nails in good shape. Another perch that is similar to the sand perch but a little bit different is this one here. This is actually a concrete perch. So this one is uh, the quite, quite heavy actually. Again, these are available in different sizes. This is one of the smallest ones uh, available on the market because of course budgies are the smallest of the parrots. It's, as you can see, a very rough texture. So again, it's really good for their nails, really good for them to be able to grind their nails against it and keep those nails in good shape. And again, as you can see in the camera, it's got the different thicknesses as you go along it. So again, it gives the, their feet the chance to adjust and flex those, uh, those toe joints and keep them from developing arthritis. Um, another reason for these kind of perches and sand perches is that uh, your budgies will often rub their beaks against these as well. Like their toenails, your budgies' beaks will also continue to grow and can e even become overgrown, which really poses a, quite a health problem for your budgie because it interferes with their ability to eat. So to have those rough surfaces available for them gives them the chance to actually rub their beaks against them and keep those beaks nicely trimmed and in proper shape so that they're not overgrown. Now another type of perch that you might want to consider getting, this is certainly not a, a perch you have to have in your cage, but sometimes it's kind of fun depending on your budgie, is a perch like this one right here. This is a covered perch. So simple little wooden dowel with, this is a, a, I'm not sure really what it is, sort of a flannel type fabric that just sort of makes a little tent over top of it. 
some beads and a bell on one side and it's got a little leather strap on the other. Now I don't know about uh, the birds you have, but my birds seem to love chewing on leather. It seems to be one of their favorite things to chew on. So this, uh, this perch can be kind of a, a nice little treat for them, somewhere for them to get nice and cozy and snuggled in. Depending on your birds, some birds don't really care for these, um, others really love having that sort of enclosed feeling. So it's something that you might want to try out, um, but it certainly isn't something you have to have in your, in your cage if you decide that you don't want to do that for your birds. Now this isn't exactly a perch, but um, you might want to consider something like this. This is a ladder. Um, some people will use them as a way to connect one perch to another, particularly if you have a bird whose wings have been severely clipped and they're having a little bit of trouble maneuvering within their cages. Having ladders that they can climb up is really nice for your, your birds. Also, it's just the fact that budgies seem to really enjoy climbing. Um, I know my budgies uh, have a couple of ladders available to them, and they all really enjoy climbing those, as well as just climbing the cage bars themselves. Um, budgies uh, definitely enjoy using their feet and their beaks to, to climb, so giving them the opportunity with uh, ladders like this one, or there are also plastic ladders available on the market, is a really nice thing to do for your budgies. So in addition to the perches I've just shown you, there are also a variety of other perches available on the market that you might want to consider getting. So here's a few images of uh, other perches that you could consider buying for your birds.